So in this video, we will familiarize ourselves on some terms that are very important in basic algebra. So we will discuss term and coefficient. Okay, so let's identify what is a term and what is a coefficient. So let's say we have this example. 60. So we have 6D. So 6D here is an example of a term. And the coefficient of this term is the leading number. So the term here is 6D. The coefficient is 6, the leading number. Okay? So whenever you are asked by someone what is the coefficient of this mathematical expression example 6d always look for the leading number and in this case the leading number is 6 so therefore the coefficient is 6 if you're asked for a term meaning term are a group of expressions separated by addition and subtraction operators so let's take another example Let's say negative x, y, minus 4, t plus 35. Okay. So now how many terms do we have on this expression? So first, we have one term here. Then another term here, and another term here. So how many terms do we have? So let's count. One, two, three. So we have three terms. So let's try to get the coefficient of each term. So what is the coefficient of the first term? Now this is very different from our previous example. Because this example here, we have a leading number, 6. That is very obvious, very evident that the coefficient is 6. But for this example, we don't see any numbers, any leading numbers. Negative x times y. So what is the coefficient of this? So if this is the case, there is always what we call the invisible 1 as the leading number of this term. So meaning... The coefficient of this term is negative 1. Negative 1. And for this term, the coefficient of this is negative 4. And of course, we have a whole number here that is 35. Okay. Let's take another example. So let's say we have this 4x times y, z plus 7x, y minus z. Okay, so how many terms do we have here? So we have 1, 2, and 3. So, as you can observe this, we are always looking for these operators. So, terms are separated always by these operators, addition and subtract, subtraction. So, therefore, the terms that we have here is 3. So, how many terms? 1, 2, 3. 
three terms three terms okay so what is the coefficient of the first term negative four coefficient of the second term seven and the coefficient of the last term negative one okay 